Hi everyone. In this section, we are going to learn a very useful concept of using modules in Node.js. So what is a module? Let's create a simple JavaScript program which has addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations included in a single file. I will create a file called trymodule that is tm.js and will define all the functions in it. Let's write the add function. I'll say const add a comma b and it will return a plus b. Now let's define the subtract function. I'll say const subtract a comma b and it will return a minus b. The same is with multiplication and division. So I define multiply and divide. All right. So we have defined all four functions. Now let's call the same function here. So I'll say console.log. I'll say addition is equal to add 10 comma 20. Now let's add console.log subtraction is equal to subtract 10 comma 5. Next console.log multiply in the brackets 2 comma 3 and console log division is equal to divide and in brackets I pass 10 comma 5. Let's save this code and I'll run this. I'll say node tm.js. As you see that all four functions are working fine and they are showing the respective output. Now imagine that this is your project file. Generally as a good program architecture, you prefer to divide the code in several meaningful modules. Here also we can make a module called calci.js which has all calculation related methods. Then as a user, you would import the module in your main project that is tm.js and call it as and when required. So let's do the same here. We will create a calci.js file. Now we will cut all four functions and paste it to calci.js. So now we have divided the files. But if you run this tm.js file, then it will give an error because all these functions are not defined anymore for this file. So the question is what we have to do to make sure that the function of calci.js is available in tm.js file. For that, you need two steps. First of all, you need to export the module from calci.js. And to export a module, we have a command called module.exports. And then what we want to export that we give here. Once the module is exported, the second point is how will you import it in your main file? Like in our case, in tm.js, when we want to use this calci.js, what will I do? I will use a statement called require and inside that, I will give the file name with or without the path. So let's try this code and see what happens. So here I just want to try with addition function. So I will import first of all the calci.js file and here at the end we will say module.exports is equal to add. Now we have this function add here that we are exporting. How will we export other functions that we will see after some time? You also need to remember that this module is a global object. So in case if you don't write module, you just say exports, then it will also work. At the moment, I keep it module.exports. So I'll say module.exports is equal to add. That means I'm exporting something called add. Now that's a function. So when you import it, with a name called add, that means this add will have reference of that function which you have exported from calci.js. Now the next thing is I will comment rest of the console.log and I'll keep this addition statement as it is for the moment and we will try to call it. Now let's run the code. So the function is executed successfully. So as you can see that the function we have in the calci.js is available in first.js. 
but the problem here is that it has just exported only one function we need to have all the function available here in tm.js how will we do that if you have gone through the object literal tutorial you know that javascript allows you to bundle all the methods in a container which can be a class or an object literal so what we can do we can create an object literal here i can say const for example cobj that's the object i want to export right that equals to let's say the method i want to expose in tm.js i name it add and what do you want to assign here the local method we have here is let's say add so i will say add similarly let's write subtract colon the local method name subtract remember if you write this subtraction and this as subtract that's also fine because this is the local method name and this is the method you want to expose or rather this is a member you want to expose which can be a property or a method let's add all the methods like this so i'll say multiply is equal to that is colon multiply and divide colon divide the next thing you need to do is you can export the cobj that is the entire object you are going to export and here again i can give any name to this object but i'll again use let's say cobj only and because the calc.js is exporting the object literal the next thing you need to do is you'll say cobj dot method name which is add in our case at the moment now as you can see it is suggesting already add divide multiply and subtract so now they are part of it so now let's change the code for all console log i will uncomment it and then we will say cobj dot subtract multiply and divide let us save this and we try to run the code and see what happens and here is the output so in this section we have tried to check that we can export a single function or an object literal as long as export is concerned you have multiple ways you can directly export a function like this you can say module dot exports let's say you have a function called sum and then that equals to you write a function here an anonymous function so this is also fine you have multiple ways to export a module and as we go on you will have a clear understanding of it but at the moment be very sure about this that we can either export a single function a property or an object or even a class which helps you to write the code in more modular way we will figure out few more options as we go on in forthcoming sections